All right, guys. So I'm gonna do a real quick video here on head porting for your V-dub. Um, this is kind of a, for your DIY guy. If you want to go a little faster, you want to pick up some horsepower. Um, 16 single, 16 dual. Here we're gonna show you what we are doing. We're, right now we're in the middle of a new engine build coming. Um, so you guys want to stay tuned for that uh, if, because this will probably be up ahead of that. Um, so we're doing a 16 single port, and then we may end up doing power up that mods to it little as we find parts at the swap meets and build that up to like a performance 1600 which you can do like a the fullest biggest performance you can do with a 1600 opening in your block is uh, with the you know the 85 and a half opening is a, a 1679 thick wall which is I think the probably the best way to go if you're going to go full performance and then dual port heads and then you can import those. So we're going to talk about though, real quick, about porting and what you can do. And again, if you're not sure, you want to try it or whatever. Take an old head and you know go for it and figure out how much you think you can do. It's all up to you. Um, you can do a lot to it. You can do a little bit to it. Um, what I did with these dual part heads, real quick, first is um, I, I did these actually with the valves in. So. You can do it with the valves out, it's a lot better, but then you're gonna have to lap your valves. Um, you can watch some of the videos we're doing. We're gonna show you how to do that yourself on the 1600 build. Hopefully we'll get that in the video. But um, what I did with these is I've basically Venturi ported these. So the top of the port, it narrows down. So these are stock valves. So the top is wider, then it narrows down. And what that does is increases the velocity of air going into your heads. And then what I did on the outside is I actually opened these up a bit and then there's typically a really strong right hand turn right here around the valve seat. And if you take your valve out, it's a whole lot easier to do. But you wanna be careful not to take out too much of your seat support um, because if you, if you take it all out, you know, you're eventually you're gonna drop a valve seat and that's not gonna be fun. But you can take out quite a bit of it, and so like this one here, I can't even, here's a stock uh, single port, I can't even get my finger in. After I'm done, I can get my finger all the way through. So that's how much you took out. There's still enough support there, I think, and that's up to you for your seat, you know, when it comes back in, and that's all depends on your cam size, all kinds of crap from there, and longevity of the engine, you know, depending on how far you're gonna go. But I took out a lot of that valve seat support in it man I mean it just just the air is gonna flow out of there if you can see in here I don't know if I can get a light on this uh, in the valve and then right here there's a heavy edge and, and and there's a very restricted port on these single port heads so the biggest problem with them is there you go um, you can see that ridge right there and it, it, I can't even get my finger past it now put this over here let's take a look on this side um, and then if you can see here, whoop, the light turned out. Let's pause it for a second. If you can see here, that is way more open. It's a good size quarter of an inch more flow from the exhaust, which will really help the single port um, run better. So you can do the same type of thing with this dual port head. Um, take it off, and what you do is you just do one port, eyeball it. You know, if you want to get measuring tools in there, really try and measure it and try and get it the, the same. And try and do all ports on all both heads the same as close as you can. I did them by eye and made a huge difference. I, I think, I don't know how many horsepower I picked up, but it was a huge noticeable amount. So if it's a huge noticeable amount, um, that usually has to be in the, you know, at least 5%. You know, I would say between 5 and, I think it was more like 10% increase in horsepower I had on that 1835 or more. By just doing just a stock valve. Uh, porting job so if you guys are interested in trying to you know bump your porting up a little bit you know take out your valves and and give your single port a, a run while you're putting it together and you can you know it can pick up quite a bit of horsepower now the risk is is if you go too far so let's look at one that's really gone a long ways well look at this head this head over here this one here he opened up he took the valve guides out and opened out up the ports look at how much that is when you get to that point there, you're risking going through the casting, you know. So that's the challenge is, you know, and that's why I say if you're going to do it, maybe take it 
another head and try it. But funny thing is, is every head has a different casting, so there's going to be a little bit of difference between one and another. So you have to, you know, I just do very conservative. This conservative amount, um, when you have a camshaft and a porting, man, it really makes a difference. And that's, it really helps your top end. Even helps the bottom end a little bit. Anything that helps your head flow better usually helps. But if you do too much to like a small engine, then it can you can lose the bottom end, but you'll gain it in the top. So you got to have enough, uh, you know, enough in your bottom end to be able to handle RPMs. So it's always a good idea to put that cam in. So like I always suggest, like we're doing this engine here, I got, I'm going through, uh, we went through all our cams to find one and just to use one because we're going to put together, you know, a, this is going to be a extreme budget build motor. So stay tuned for that. Um, take a look at this one and if you want to do your heads, there's just a couple ideas. You know, remember if you're running stock valves, if you run with a larger port on the top and then you venturi it in, that's going to help air come in. Let me show you the concept of what I did to my my uh, intake manifold as well. Oh, here it is. Okay. So what I did is a, this is a two barrel manifold. So I uh, really wanted to do this and I forgot I was going to do it. <laughs> and I port matched. I used the gasket, put one on top of the other, port matched this to the head. So each one of these manifolds matches the head pretty well as best I could. And if you notice, my porting job is really crude. I didn't do a real job, real good job of smoothing it out. You know, that helps a bit if you want to play with it. It depends on how much time and money you want to put into something. But I did this in a real big hurry, and I was able to get, like I said, quite a bit more horsepower out of doing that. So on a two-barrel manifold, I did that. And if on dual carbs, you should do the same thing if you're going to do it. And then we're good. This is one thing. This is my concept here. Now, a lot of guys are going to go, what the hell did you do here? So... If you look here, there's a bunch of ribs I cut into this, okay? And what happens is right after the the fuel leaves the carburetor, just, these are just ideas you can throw out there. Right after it fuels the, leaves the carburetor, it's got plenty of opening here. It's actually way larger than the carburetor was. But the problem with uh, a lot of times it, with the engine is getting the, the fuel and air to mix together really nicely. So what I was trying to do here is I was creating turbulence. I was creating turbulence by putting ribs in the side of here and what that did is kind of get the air to kind of because it's a larger opening okay so it's a much larger opening than it needs to be so I had created turbulence and then as the air got venturi down it created flow so you're doing two things so starting with a large surface going down to the small surface small area um, it was creating flow but in the middle there, it was creating turbulence, and then the turbulence became into flow. So that turbulence was helping my air and fuel mix together, in my opinion. That's what I was trying to do. So those are the types of things you can you know, play around with on your engine to try and get more performance out of it. I know a lot of guys are interested in this stuff. So anyway, all right, so that's it for the porting. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for that 1600 you know, poverty special. We're going to call it the, no, it's actually going to be called the extreme budget engine build, but we're going to, it's, I'm going to say poverty special, pretty much, that's pretty much what it is. I'll talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.